Former Thunder Bay Police Chief Sylvie Hoff has been arrested and charged by Ontario Provincial Police. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The OPP have laid several charges against Hoth, including breach of trust and obstruction of justice. She's now the third former member of the Thunder Bay Police Service to be charged as part of this investigation. Vasilios Bellos is following the story and Vasilios, the OPP probe dates back to 2021. That's right, Haley. It was launched in response to misconduct allegations by members of the Thunder Bay Police Service, including Hoth. The former chief, who according to the OPP now lives in Ottawa, faces four total charges and will appear before the Ontario Court of Justice next month. Multiple criminal charges against the former head of the Thunder Bay Police Service. Following an Ontario Provincial Police investigation, Sylvie Hoth, who served as Thunder Bay's police chief from 2018 until 2023, has been arrested and now faces four criminal charges. That includes one count of obstructing a public or peace officer, another count of breach of trust by a public officer, and two counts of obstruction of justice. The OPP investigation was launched in December of 2021 after the Ministry of the Attorney General called for a look into potential misconduct in the service. Hoth faced separate misconduct allegations which were subject to Police Service Act hearings, but that hearing never took place as Hoth retired in 2023. She's the third former service member to be charged in the investigation. Earlier this week, former police lawyer Holly Walborn was arrested and now faces five criminal charges. The other former member charged in the investigation was Staff Sergeant Michael Dimini. That happened in December. Hoth has been released from custody and is scheduled to appear before the Ontario Court of Justice in Thunder Bay on May 7th. Police Chief Darcy Fleury provided a statement after news of Hoth's arrest saying the service fully cooperated in the investigation and is committed to fulfilling its duties and responsibilities. Fleury went on to mention he hopes the community will not allow this investigation to overshadow the ongoing dedication and quality of service provided by Thunder Bay Police, which continues on a path to learn from its past. The Thunder Bay Police Board also provided a statement thanking the OPP for the investigation while saying current police leadership is focused on the implementation of various recommendations and upholding the highest standards of policing. Board Chair Karen Machado and Police Chief Darcy Fleury are expected to speak to media about the investigation on Monday. Vicilio Spalos, TVT News.